Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventurer. And I'm Lunchbox. And on this episode, we've got one from Trim Tab down there in Alabama. Uh, this one is Aloha Now. Uh, this is a sour with hibiscus and pineapple. It's 7.5. So we just did a beer from them that was not a sour, and he said that he uh, had had several of the sours. So I guess he felt the need to torture me with one, but at least it's got pineapple in it. Yeah. Well, see, Carissa is a big fan of sours, and I'm trying to turn Lunchbox onto some more sours. I don't know. I'm really getting into sours. I smell pineapple. Fun fact, aloha now. I was born in Hawaii. Which is part of the reason. Like, I try to give him Hawaiian things, and he gets all the uh, space shit. Mm -hmm. I like space stuff. Damn, that smells good. You put space or a car on your beer, I'm probably going to drink it. Ooh. You smell the pineapple? I smell lots uh, of pineapple yeah. right off the bat. Hey, uh, this beer comes with a handy QR code, so you can scan that, and it takes you to some web page. Uh, hopefully, it's not dark, and uh, it has information about them. Ooh. Uh, this is an 8 point what? No, 7.5. 7.5. Seven, five. So, uh, yeah, it's getting on up there in the um, fuck you up category. Mm. This okay. says scan here to enjoy with surround sound. That's what it says. I don't know. Well, there you go. I was going to say that it's not... Mm. It's sour, and it's, it's a decent amount of sour, but it's not too puckerish. Like, it's not one of those stupid candies that makes you... Yeah, not cry um, babies. But it is Wait, plenty of sour going on. Does he still make crab babies or was that a Gen X? Warheads. Warheads, well, yeah. Lemon heads. What was there was a couple of them. Sour okay. gummy bursts. Okay. Do did you notice something? You can smell this one. Oh yeah, that's what I said right off the bat. You can smell pineapple all day long. I can almost smell the hops in it. Yeah. Okay, now this one's going to be in my sour playlist because I've been doing a lot of sours. Okay, just tell me if you smell enjoying. hops in it. Can you smell pine? I smell pineapple? No, I smell like hops, <laughs> that piney hops. Maybe. Hmm. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know what hibiscus tastes like right off the top of my head. Like If you ask me to describe hibiscus to you, I'm not sure Floral. if I could. <laughs> and that was a cop out right there bro. <laughs> um but i like it i think this is hey i'll tell you what it doesn't taste like seven and a half does it no it doesn't really taste like it has any alcohol in it no like hardly at all hardly at all it's kind of it's just kind of sour just kind of sour in a good way i don't normally enjoy sour stuff i like it that one's not killing me like sour stuff normally does. Now, I had this one quite a while back mm -hmm. um, because, as I said in another video, um, there is a beer bar, beer garden in Memphis that I go to sometimes. Which one? I go, I go to Laughlin Yard. Laughlin Yard is an amazing place. If you yeah, haven't I'm been taking there. taking a lot of my friends there. If you're ever going... Uh, in the Memphis area, check it out. It, it it's fun for the whole family. You know, yeah. Even, During even, the day, you can bring the dogs, the kids, everything. Uh, that's probably what got me was the the, the dogs. There were, there were dogs there. People were playing with their dogs at the beer place. Yeah, it was nice. But that's awesome. There, I started seeing these pint cans of Trim Tab sours, and they was only running me like five six bucks. So I started getting them every now and then. Okay. Um, so I'd already had this one a time or two, and then when I got the chance to have one to review, I was like, oh, cool. Um, so, you know, I've had some non-sour beers from Trim Tab, and they're pretty good. But for me right now, what Trim Tab is, is like, for me, is their sours. Okay. Like, I know they've got some IPAs. They've even got some IPLs. They seem to be, know what they're doing. But like their sours are really what's what's working for me. 
This one's working for me. I'm usually not a big sour fan, but I really like pineapple, and this one's not too sour to not enjoy. Yeah. I thought you'd like this one. Mm -hmm. So I'd say those ones for you. Um, so do you have a favorite sour? Like, go down there in the comments. Tell us what your favorite sour is. We're going to try to find it. We'll drink it. We'll tell you what we think about it. Yeah. While you're down there, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, because the guy does this three times a week. If you ring the bell. Yeah, three times a week. Um, I'll see what I can find to put in the description in there. You're also going to find all my links, uh, social media, merch. Yeah, you got shirts like that. Hey, I designed this shirt. I mean, we're, buy one of those. we're pros here, okay? Well, semi-pros. YouTube don't pay me yet, but I'm working on it. If you guys watched a lot more videos, YouTube would give me a couple dollars a month, um, which I would just use just like any time I sell any of this and just buy more beer. Um, so, you know. Yeah. It's I'm, I'm a semi-pro YouTuber and an amateur dad. Yeah. I, I'm not an amateur dad. I know your kids. You're a little more than an amateur dad. <laughs> um, semi-pro dad. <laughs> amateur YouTuber. Yeah, semi-pro dad. There you go. Um, so I'd love to talk to you guys down there in the comments. And let's go ahead and get into it. Did you dig it? I, I, I did. Like, I was scared because you said sour, but... It's pretty nice. It's not that sour. So it's enjoyable. It is definitely sour. But it's not to the point where I, I dread the next drink. No. It's got a good flavor. So. Um, would I have it again? I, I would like to. This, probably, I've, this is not the first one of these I've had. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. I, w I wouldn't turn it down. By the way, it is a great like beer garden beer because... It's not one you suck down. You sit and sip on it yeah. a little bit. So that's kind of nice. Um, you you kind of get your money's worth at 7% alcohol, five, six bucks, sipping. It works. It's good. Uh, you're over there petting a dog, playing giant Jenga. You know, it's nice. Now, excuse me. Oh, the, the beer pong with the basketballs and the trash can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those giant are beer pong. Yeah. Now. Uh, I don't know exactly how hard it is to find. We're starting to find it more in our in our area, but, you know, I don't know where you're at. Now, does it go well with food? I actually have had this with dinner one night, and it wasn't bad. I, I could see that. Uh, I think it was like a chicken sandwich or like a burger or something like that. You know, something something bar friendly. Uh, you know, that, that, was, that was pretty nice. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, when's the lowest? 10's the highest. I'm 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 right at seven. I am too. Um, I'd like for it to be more, but again, um, it's just a really good sour. Yeah. Um, the way I look at it is, at least I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> See the other video. That's what that's about. Um, I don't know what it would take for it to be more for me, uh, but it is well above average, and I do enjoy drinking it. I would like to have a more fruit punch to it, like a more of a fruit impact in the flavor uh that would that would rank a little higher to me even if it did come with some sour like a lemon or something if it just had a little more punch okay. on it i can see that um but other than that like it's 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 yeah. well-rounded it's enjoyable yeah well there you have it folks until your next beer adventure cheers, cheers.